Last okay. time on Runaway. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. Oh, yes, God, I did. God, please make No, me you stop. didn't. Yes, I did. Wait, there's a Hummer here. I think there's something with this car. I'm not very tempted by the idea of chit-chatting with more military types. But if I have no other choice... Oh, there are guys I can talk to here. Okay. Huh. It'd be just funny if he just gets shot right that second. Huh. This guy's reading. I hope that good habit makes him act nicer than his cohorts. Hello, sir. Hello there. Can we be friends? Marine Zachariah O'Connor, at your orders, sir. What do you mean, at my orders? Pardon my indiscretion, sir, but I know a superior officer when I see one. Even if he's disguised in plain clothes, sir. Jeez, how funny. Why do you think that? Because you wear flashy colors to draw attention to yourself, sir. And that is precisely what nobody would expect of a soldier going incognito, sir. If you allow me to make a remark, I believe that was a very intelligent idea, sir. Well, if you say so. By the way, you could try not to yell when you're talking. Impossible, sir. I'm hard of hearing, and if I don't speak up, I run the risk of not knowing what the devil I'm saying, sir. Uh, okay. Huh, let's see. What do I say to him now? Soldier O'Connor. Sir, yes, sir. Got a piece of chalk on you? Got a piece of chalk on you? No, sir, but at school, I learned to make them. It's quite complicated, sir. You have to grate a bit of plaster, mix it with gum arabic, and place the mixture in a test tube, sir. Okie doke. So, what's the complicated part? That's all, sir. I see. Hey, I have another question, O'Connor. Hmm. You didn't happen to see a girl dropping out of the sky today by any chance? No, sir. I always wear my ball cap this way, so I'm usually blind as a bat, sir. Uh... <laughs> Why don't you wear a hat that lets you see? It's a lumberjack custom to protect our eyes, sir. Keeps the sawdust out on the one hand, and on the other, it keeps the bird doo-doo away when you climb a tree, sir. What in the good Lord's name can you do for your army if you're half deaf and blind as a bat? My main task is as a lookout, sir. I used to work as a lumberjack before enlisting. And there's no one in this regiment who can climb a tree as fast as me, sir. Uh, makes sense, but at the same time, it's not really good. I'd like to see you climb a tree. With pleasure. But I need rope to do that, and I don't have any here, sir. So you climb trees to spy on people? When I see the colonel, I'll have you tried for treason. You are hilarious, sir. A deaf spy, sir. High treason. Your lady friend must bust her gut with you, sir. My lady friend? I meant that girl disguised as a waitress, whose body I couldn't describe without making an indecent comment or two, sir. I'm sure that she's actually an MP with the mission to weed out soldiers who hit the booze too much, sir. You have a great imagination. Take me to the camp. Shoot, sir. I can't. People would be surprised to see a civilian snooping around. Someone would recognize you and it would mess up your plan, sir. Hmm. I was told that nobody would bug me if I came in with Soldier O'Connor. No, sir. Only Professor Pignon is authorized to enter the camp with me, sir. Who is Professor Pignon? Who's Professor Pignon? I've never seen him, sir. I only know that when he gets here, I'm supposed to drive him to the camp and remain at his orders as long as he's on the island, sir. Ah, and I was given a photo. Look. Which one is he? The monobrow with the wart? No, sir. The old one is Professor James Simon. Good guy. He retired a year ago, more or less. So, Pignon is the young one. Gee, sir, you are a sharp tack. I never would have guessed that in my life. That's, I, I don't know with you. Uh... Have you considered I could have you drawn and quartered for giving away confidential info? You've got me between a rock and a hard place, sir. I'm damned if I lie, and I'm damned if I tell the truth. 
I'm just a foot soldier who can't compete with your devilish West Point logic, sir. Do you know how he'll get here? I guess you'll be tired, sir. I meant, what mode of transportation will he arrive in? I don't know, sir. But whether by plane, train, boat, or swimming, you can't deny he'll be tired. Especially if he comes swimming, sir. Let's talk about something else. As you order, sir. Return to your position, soldier. And remember, I'm watching you. At your order, sir! That is... odd. Not having doors is a bummer. Unless you don't mind falling out of a Hummer. The truth is, I don't think O'Connor would let me. That's true. Okay, so... He likes to yell the strangest things. He's very unusual. But I am amused by him, so it's okay. So he said he knows how to make chalk. I... Better not get too close, it's full of sap. I'd better not... Climb it, monkey! I don't see the reason for doing that. I need rope. Okay, so I need the photo to swap the photos so I can use the makeup to look like the guy and then... Things will happen? But I'm supposed to get in with the boat, aren't I? Alright, maybe this guy has... Talcum powder? I've been looking at that for a while. It might come in. I don't know why they say talcum powder. To me, it smells like talcum powder. Because they cover babies in talcum powder. Hey, that might actually work. Now I just need to mix this properly. That makes no sense. What was the thing I need to mix it? Uh, I guess that was the plaster. Do you have anything for me, Kai? Hi again, Kai. Aloha, Brian. Oh, is that a rope? Don't need those. Well, I'm just... That is a rope. Sure. You know, I'm pretty sure I moused over this several times. It's a good And didn't see either of those things. I thought they were just decorations because it wasn't letting me mouse over. Screw it. Alright, step one. You are going to tell me He likes to Soldier O'Connor. About to chug again. Sir! Tell me you have to grate a bit of plaster, mix it with gum arabic, and place the mixture in a test tube, sir. It's practically impossible, sir. What is gum arabic? Don't you? Especially as for the so. I with pleasure, but I so you climbed when I <laughs> hi your my late I meant who's I'm there's something else. I have you? I'm just damn it! I keep clicking the wrong thing. Let as you return to and you. Take this rope. Yes. That way he can climb up the trees and I can get rid of him. Just watch how riled up he gets. O'Connor, I have something for you. Sir, thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, man. I have to make this a bit more obvious. Soldier, let's see if you're as big a man as you say. Grab that rope and climb that tree, now. Sir, yes, sir. Wait, sap! Sap is like gummy stuff. Those were doom sound effects! This is the perfect moment to do that. But I just don't know what purpose it would serve. Yes. Take the photo. I bet he won't notice. Mine. I sure hope O'Connor doesn't notice it's missing. I believe it's a weapons manual. I should have imagined. It probably would plus. All right. Why aren't you looking at the palm tree? Did you just crash? Well, crap. I managed to get catch up to where I was after 
you know, the game crashed when I tried to look at the palm tree for some reason. Don't ask me. Only thing changed is that I took some of the, the talcum powders in a different position. Because I got it first. Yep, alright, okay. Let's get out of here. I have a photo. I need to look like this person. I don't think she's in. Ryan hey! Ryan Fuck you, bird. Could you use Grease Paint Pro to make me look like somebody else? Yeah, but you'd have to bring me a picture of the person you want to look like, and one of yourself. Why don't you take my picture? I bet you have the latest state-of-the-art digital camera. Had is the word. That's the only trouble when your boyfriend is a professional thief. Damn it! That's why I need a photo. Uh. All you so. Uh, See you around. Still need gum somehow. I don't want to get. Maybe tools, or maybe this. The sap isn't quite gum Arabic, but it should work. Okay. I hope the cap doesn't come off, or I can say goodbye to my pocket and everything in it. And now, shake up the concoction a bit, make sure it's nice and compact, and presto! A real, genuine, homemade piece of chalk made in the true Brian Basco style. Fuck you, chemistry! All right, sir. Most likely post alien Joshua. I hope it lasts longer. I have Chuck for you. Here you go, mister. Now we can continue our little chat. The music even sounds like Joshua. I also skip. Now, where were we? I skipped most of the conversation I had with this guy the first time. So. All these are still unsaid. Who cares? Are you mute? Long time. Earth. We already had this conversation. Rather not say where I've been. Ah. And what speech organs do you use then? Gills? Give me your word, sir. I best with extraterrestrial ones. Are you sure you and I have never talked before? Lately, I only use telepathy. Boggles the mind, huh? Where have I heard that phrase before? Wait a sec. Boggles the mind. Hey, I got it. You're Joshua. <laughs> uh, uh, of course, I, Joshua, Joshua Nakayama Smith. To, to be precise, to, to, I, I know you. Hey, but you could talk. Why didn't you before now? My cocoa phones must adopt to Earthling atmosphere. So, so long since I took the talk, I hardly remember. Wherever I hear my name and I remember how to talk. Don't you remember me? I'm Brian. 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 Ryan, the, the famous UFOologist. No, I'm Brian. Brian Scalari, that re retarded anti-UFO <laughs> No, Brian Basco. Don't you remember me? I don't, don't, don't know. You score, you not surely, because you... 
you you look like re, re, really really retarded moron. Sure, Joshua. Hey, about those extraterrestrials and telepathy, that was just your imagination, right? I knew, knew, knew it. Typical skip, skip, skeptical lies from moron like scullery. Give it up already. That's not me. You and I are pals. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I believe you. Okay, let's see. I remember you were great with your hands. Could you help me fix a bucking bronco? You brought a goblin scullery? I'll not give you water in desert. Come on. Give me a full explanation about this other planet now. As if I were going to explain it to you, you moron. Wow, you are really angry about this. I helped you get to space, man! I'll help you get in contact with the extraterrestrials. Oh, yeah? Tell me how. Mention you the creator. Uh. Hey, let's tell them all this. I met you in a crater near Douglasville. I remember your name means liberation. Big deal! Anyone could know that. I helped you fix your contacting machine with a bicycle chain and a 10-gauge wrench. Yeah, I think I remember you. You sure that was you? Yep. You had a telepathic helmet to communicate with UFOs and that kind of stuff. It's tr true. Whatever happened to it? I figured out the musical password, which, according to you, opened the dimensional gateway. Then you rose into the sky wrapped in a halo of light and said, you don't know how much love I'm taking with me, Brian. Oh, yeah. Now I remember everything. Oh, but you look so different, Brian. I remember you much less debonair and a bit more geeky. So tell me, what do you want to know, my friend? I want you to fix this Bronco. Actually, first I want to know how you got to Earth. So, why did you return to Earth? I came along with a team of scientists from the planet Trantor on a routine mission. But it looks like things have taken a bizarre turn and, well, I'm not sure what's going on. But Alpha, the big mucky muck on the ship, has given me a mission of vital importance to mankind. Or something like that. I must find a guy named Professor Simon and deliver a message to him. I'll go out in search of him as soon as the boat gets me off this island. You could come with me, Brian. Professor Simon? I need you to fix the bucking bronco. Otherwise, I can't help you. Well, I have always been good at doing odd jobs around the house. Let's make a little trade-off. I'll help you with the Bronco, and you help me with my mission, okay? I don't know. I may find a way out of here before the boat gets here. Yeah, if you fix the bucking Bronco, I'll get you off the island and take you wherever you want. Yay! You want me to fix this mess so some schmuck can lend you a silly old motorboat? Yes, Joshua, that's what I said. Come on, let's see if you can fix this jalopy. Brian, fiddling with this type of wreck is my personal forte. Don't you worry. We're treading on my main territory. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I broke the fall with my own skull. Yeah, just got a little bump on the noggin. You think you'll be able to fix it? I didn't break anything, but thanks. I was talking about the Bronco. That old antique is practically from the Wild West. But give me a while and I'll figure out why it's not bucking. For now, just find me a 10-gauge wrench and some oil to grease the machinery. Because it's drier than Scullery's brain. This guy's that totally obsessed with 10-gauge wrenches. I brought you some tools, Joshua. Let's see if there's a 10-gauge wrench in here. 
one, my tooth enamel will be permanently damaged from turning bolts with my mouth. Well, there's no 10 gauge. I'll have to make do with this 6 gauge and this 4 gauge together. I don't think that works. What the hell is that song? Uh, this guy's just like that guy in still life. He says he's working on it, but until you give him something, it ain't gonna mean shit. Have some butter. Joshua, take this lubricant I brought you. Okay. Oh, excellent. So where's the toast? There is no toast. It's to grease the machinery. Oh, yeah? All right. All right. No, I'd better let him work. He's happier than a kid in a candy shop, singing like a bird. What else does he need? I think he's done. Get up, get up, get up, get up, wah, wah, wah. Ka'eru no utagam. How's it going, Joshua? I'd say I've patched them all up, but there's no juice. And if there's no juice, then the bovine won't bust the move. Which in common earthling means the bull won't work without electrical current. That's fine, Joshua. I'll see what I can do. Alright, I'm guessing the power is in that basement. Maybe you could tell me how to get down there. Nope, you can't. Bye. There's a rock or a stick or a... Maybe I'm, I gotta be missing something somewhere. If I can attach this to the car... Let's... As you... I need you... I thought that my... <laughs> the thing is, while you're up there, I'm gonna take advantage and steal your stuff. <laughs> Very funny joke, sir. If I were allowed to laugh while on duty, I would be in hysterics. But all I can do is go up this tree and hope no one can hear my laughter down here, sir. <laughs> you and your doom grunt. Anything else around here? Take it. This is the perfect moment. This is the... I know what I want to do with it. I want to tie it to the... Alright, I guess I'll leave. It looks like the butter I gave Joshua. Hey Joshua, you need any more butter? No, but I can't believe it's not oil. This is as greasy as the table at a cheap diner. Why not? It's so effective I can't believe it's not used by mechanics. There's still a nice chunk left. Cool. Oh, I can tap them. I swear I've tried this before. I think... Only the Colonel can give you a... I'd like... Again? You're lucky I'm so friendly. Don't take your eyes off him, Felton. I'm allowed to go back? Okay, anything else I can mess with here? No. You can come in. Thanks. Damn it. Michael? The truth is, I... That's a lost war, son. From the lieutenant colonel to the latrine scrubber. All my men have tried. <laughs> but that lady is the toughest coconut to crack in the Pacific. Are you serious? What about you? Have you tried? <laughs> she has more ex-boyfriends than you have men in this camp. Well, of course I tried to pick her up. And she's a good kisser, by the way. Some flunky civilian gallivanting around right in front of my troops? Go tell that story to someone who'll believe it. I tried, but she's in love with some one-eyed soldier. Won't even pay attention to me. I can't believe it. Another man. Well, just follow my orders. Tell her I'm the sensitive type. That I like to take strolls in the evening, candle at dinners at night, and the sweet smell of napalm in the morning. <laughs> All right, I'll talk with the waitress if you tell me where you're keeping my friend. You like a nice and dirty war, I see. Well, careful with me, boy. You see this cigar? It causes plenty of pain if stuck in the wrong orifice. Oh, ow. 
I'll tell her, but I think you'd better forget the napalm and use a nice compliment instead. You're right. She may be too young to hurt of napalm. Tell her I fell in love with her. The minute I laid eyes on that great pair of... Nah, that won't work either. I'll come up with something else. There's something else I wanted to tell you about that waitress. You don't mean to tell me you've hit a home run with her, do you? Well, if you tried, she probably used her don't ask, don't tell policy on you. You're getting a little cocky, civilian. Don't you think I was rejected? I'm just following a long-term strategy. Laying siege on her rear guard without taking my eyes off her front line. <laughs> I don't want to talk about that girl. I don't even think she's attractive. Either you're lying or you're dumber than I thought. Anyway, I still don't know what you're doing on my island. <laughs> I'm waiting for Professor Pierre Pignon. The professor's arrival is a military secret. How the heck do you find out? Actually, he told me himself, because we're cousins. He just called me on the phone. You sure about that? What'd you say your name was? Pignon. Uh... Francois Pignon, at your service. Your cousin didn't tell you about his mission here, did he? Yeah, but I forgot. I'm the high commander here, so I can do whatever wets my whistle. And it just so happens, I don't feel like refreshing your memory. Yeah, he told me something about this, that, and the other, and this thing with this guy, and, and something or other about some whatchamacallit, and those thingamajigs hanging around this something or other and uh, with what's his name i see a master bluffer i suggest you keep away from the polka table hey there's something else besides my cousin pierre well spill your guts i wonder how much of, i hope i don't need to remember stuff about this guy i don't feel just for the rep mosey along civilian I feel like I gotta deal with that paper. I'm sure that's... I'd love to. Alright, let's try something else on that thing. I'm going to insult him. Shoot, I forgot what I was gonna say. Pipe down, buddy. Ah, oh, you didn't have the guts.